Integer data types in PostgreSQL are designed to store whole numbers, both positive and negative, including zero. They are commonly used for storing numerical data such as ages, counts, identifiers, and monetary values. PostgreSQL provides three primary integer data types. 1. Small int. This data type stores two byte integers, with a range of minus 32768 to 32767. It is suitable for storing smaller numerical values that fall within this range. 2. Integer. This data type stores 4 byte integers, with a range of minus 2,147,483,648 to 2,147,483,647. It is the most commonly used integer data type and is suitable for storing a wider range of numerical values. 3. Bigint. This data type stores 8 byte integers, with a very large range that is unlikely to be exceeded in most applications. It is used for storing extremely large numerical values that exceed the range of the integer data type. Choosing the right integer data type. The choice of integer data type depends on the range of values that your data is likely to hold. If you are confident that your data will always fall within the range of a small int or integer, then use those data types to save storage space. However, if there is any possibility that your data could exceed those ranges, then use BigInt to avoid errors. Serial data type. The serial data type is a special type of integer that is used for auto-incrementing primary keys. Serial columns are automatically assigned unique values starting from 1. There are three types of serial data types. 1. Small serial. This data type stores two byte integers, with a range of 1 to 32,767. 2. Serial. This data type stores 4 byte integers, with a range of 1 to 2,147,483,647. 3. Big Serial. This data type stores 8 byte integers, with a very large range that is unlikely to be exceeded in most applications. Considerations for integer data types. Range. Make sure that the data type you choose can accommodate the range of values that your data is likely to hold. Storage space. Use the smallest data type that can accommodate your data to save storage space. Null values. Integer data types can store null values, indicating that no value is associated with a particular column in a table. Null values need to be handled appropriately in queries and data manipulations. Example usage. Here is an example of how to create a table using integer data types in PostgreSQL. In this example, the customer's table has four columns. 1. Customer underscore id, the customer's id, which is a unique identifier that is automatically generated by PostgreSQL using the serial data type. 2. Age, the customer's age, which is stored using the small int data type. 3. Order underscore count, the customer's total number of orders, which is stored using the integer data type. 4. Loyalty underscore points, the customer's loyalty points, which is stored using the begint data type. By understanding the characteristics of integer data types and choosing the appropriate data type for your data, you can effectively manage integer data in PostgreSQL databases. questions and answers about integer data types in PostgreSQL. 1. What are the three primary integer data types in PostgreSQL? A. The three primary integer data types in PostgreSQL are 1. Small int, stores two byte integers, with a range of minus 32768 to 32767. 2. Integer, stores 4 byte integers, with a range of minus 2,147,483,648 to 2,147,483,647. 3. Bigint, stores 8 byte integers, with a very large range that is unlikely to be exceeded in most applications. 2. When would you use a small int data type? A. You would use a small int data type when you know that your data will always fall within the range of minus 32,768 to 32,767. This is useful for storing data such as ages, counts, or small identifiers. 
3. When would you use an integer data type? A. You would use an integer data type when you need to store a wider range of numerical values than a small int can accommodate. This is the most common integer data type and is suitable for storing data such as counts, monetary values, or medium-sized identifiers. 4. When would you use a big int data type? A. You would use a big int data type when you need to store very large numerical values that exceed the range of the integer data type. This is typically used for storing data such as population counts, financial transactions, or extremely large identifiers. 5. What is the serial data type used for? A. The serial data type is a special type of integer that is used for auto-incrementing primary keys. Serial columns are automatically assigned unique values starting from 1. This is useful for creating unique identifiers for records in a table. 6. What are some considerations when using integer data types? A. Some important considerations when using integer data types include. 1. Range. Make sure that the data type you choose can accommodate the range of values that your data is likely to hold. 2. Storage space. Use the smallest data type that can accommodate your data to save storage space. 3. Null values. Integer data types can store null values, indicating that no value is associated with a particular column in a table. Null values need to be handled appropriately in queries and data manipulations. By understanding the characteristics of integer data types and choosing the appropriate data type for your data, you can effectively manage integer data in PostgreSQL databases.